So guys, I just reached one year of semen retention. Yes, I didn't bust a single nut in over one year. And me just telling you this is absolutely insane. So in this video, I want to talk about my experience. How does it feel like to be one year on semen retention? Next to that, all the benefits and all the things I've learned this year while being on semen retention. And last but not least, some common misconceptions of semen retention as well, because I still feel as if there's a lot of misunderstanding around this topic. So let's actually dive into it. So here we are, one year of semen retention, pure semen retention. Am I a different man? What has happened to me? How am I feeling? Am I gold mode now out of nowhere? Am I absolutely magnetic and everything? It's hard to say at this point, guys. If you've seen and if you've looked back at my five months and seven months semen retention uh, experiences, right, where I explained how I was feeling at the points, you could say what you just do. I was talking and very passionately, I was talking about what I was feeling because so many new things started to happen, right? I felt so many things change in my body and in my life and in my consciousness. A lot of things changed at that time. But let me tell you this, guys, I'm one year in. So how I can explain this, right? How I'm feeling. And this is going to sound so lame and probably very discouraging for a lot of people. But don't get discouraged because I will explain this. I feel completely normal. I feel normal. No, I don't feel super saiyan. No, I don't feel crazy, right? I feel normal. But let me tell you this. What does normal mean? Normal is very subjective, right? Your normal can be completely different from my normal. My current normal is that I wake up happy. My current normal is that I'm confident, socially confident. I have no social anxiety. My current normal is that I feel empowered and I can speak my thoughts authentically and I'm not afraid to put myself out there and be judged by other people. I'm able to authentically be myself. And in the beginning, right, as you might notice, these are all benefits you get on semen retention when you start off. Hey, I feel more confident, I feel more energy, I feel more magnetic. And that's true, because that is exactly what's going to happen when you hop on this journey. But if you've been on this journey for one year, these benefits that you feel in the beginning, they no longer feel like benefits, they feel like you. They feel like part of you. You don't know yourself any different anymore. You've integrated the benefits. So I would say one of the main reasons I've been able to do one year so easily, because it was very easy for me. It just happened out of nowhere. I just looked at my freaking calendar and I was like, I don't even know exactly, but it's been over a year. I was like, it's been a year now. Wow, cool. That like, I wasn't even aware of it until lately. I was like, it's literally been a year. The reason I've been able to do a year so effortlessly it's because I don't really care about it. It's a lifestyle. I don't care what day I'm on. If I'm back to day one, I honestly, I wouldn't care any less. I don't have any attachments to these semen retention days. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> if I'm on day one, I'm still going to be the same person at this point. Because I've integrated right, this lifestyle so much in my life that it doesn't really play a role in my life anymore. So that is literally what it feels like, guys. One year in. It's like, yes, I'm a completely different person from one year ago. And I can tell you this as well, guys. I made the most progress this year, more than ever before. I made so much progress this year, I cannot even explain it. And we're going to go over all the points, all the benefits I've gained, but also all the things I've learned in this journey in a bit. But first, I just want to let you know that even if you feel, because I've spoken to some men as well, they've done like three months of SR and SA, there are no benefits. What's going on? Dude, it doesn't matter. Just do semen retention anyway. You're just better off being on semen retention. Or at least no fap. At least no fap. This is something I've truly realized, guys. There's no point in fapping. There's no point. I gave it up one year ago, right? I just like, no, none of that, right? And that's an amazing feeling because you know you and you see yourself as a man that doesn't fap, right? Again, I would say there's nothing wrong with it and it's not bad to do it. Do what you want. But I always felt like you just feel weird, man. Let's be honest, man. You just feel weird when you fap. All right, guys, so these are benefits I've gained on this journey. And at this point, after one year of semen retention, you start to integrate them. I'm going to read it out because I made a list. I'm going to look here for a bit. It's going to be confident, social magnetism, more attraction, you have more energy. You have little to no low days. And this is one that I've, I haven't heard about much before. But what happens, guys, is when you're on semen retention, every day you feel good, man. Like every day is good. There are no, you're, you're not on this emotional roller coaster anymore where one day you feel on top of the world and the other day you feel like down the drain. No, man, you feel emotionally stable. You're like an emotional rock. The, the outer world, it doesn't have much power over you anymore. A lot of the inner strength and the inner fulfillment starts to come from within instead of outside of you, right? So life can't move you as much anymore. A lot of turbulence is going on, right? In the outer world, things are going wrong, quote unquote. 
you're good. You're chill. You're chilling inside, man. You know, it's all going to be fine. So life doesn't sway you as much anymore. It doesn't push you around as much anymore. You're way more stable. You're like a freaking rock. Next to that, also, you're going to have higher awareness, right? Your consciousness starts to increase. Your vibration starts to increase, right? And if you're more into actually expanding your own consciousness, right? That's definitely going to help. Seamer retention is going to help. Night and day is going to help. You're going to realize certain truths. You're going to have access to higher states, more information, and a lot of new realizations about yourself when you're on this journey. Because obviously, when you constantly empty yourself, especially using your hand, which is the lowest vibration of release, obviously, you're going to be in a lower vibe, and it's going to be hard to really raise your own state. And next to that, guys, you will naturally be drawn to learning and improving yourself right? It's going to be more natural. You just want to go and improve. When, you, when you're too stagnant, you're on seamer retention and you're not pushing forward in life, it doesn't feel right. You can't do it anymore. You have all this energy within yourself and you just want to transmute it. You have more of this urge within yourself to just attack your fears, to attack the next challenge, to take the leap, to think bigger, right? This is also something I've noticed. I'm able to think a lot bigger and actually act on the idea Instead of kind of thinking about it and then of like, oh, that's too scary. I'm not going to do that. No, man, you just take action a lot easier. You just go at it. You have more drive, more ambition, more power. Another one is more inner peace and self-love. This is something I've truly realized as well. I just feel more of my own authentic expression within myself. And I just feel more acceptance of who I am, right? All the parts of me, I've been able to accept more and more through this practice as well, because they come up to the surface when you do this, right? Facing your dark side, guys, this is something you really should do if you truly want to integrate all parts of yourself. Now, now you might ask yourself, why do I want to integrate these dark parts about myself? Well, if you don't, you're going to walk around with, you know, a stirring subconscious, right? It's boiling down there, right? And everything starts to trigger you and you do a lot of things from a place of lag and anger and you're insecure about certain things, right? If you're not willing to face that, you will continue to do the same thing from the same place. What I've realized as well is that once you're on a long-term human retention streak, your mind and your body, but let's say especially your mind and your soul, it naturally purifies. What I mean with that is that you will naturally get better thoughts, healthier thoughts, higher vibe thoughts, right? And naturally, right, this is the beauty, you actually start to become disgusted by low vibrational things because it doesn't match your energy anymore. So here's an example. If you would show me pornography right now, I would not be turned on by that. I would be like, what is this weird shit? I would be disgusted by it, right? If you give me a cigarette now, I'd be disgusted by it. Even if you give me alcohol, right? And I feel as if semen retention helped me do this as well. I'm naturally, I don't want to drink alcohol anymore. And the reason I quit is because I lost all interest in drinking alcohol. It felt like, wow, I'm poisoning my body. Over time, as you become higher vibe, right? You increase your vibration. Low vibrational stuff, same as thoughts, they no longer match. They just no longer match your energy. So next to your thoughts, right? Your thoughts become better as well. You just get to a point where you can no longer accept these negative, guilty, shameful thoughts. It's like, no, this doesn't resonate with me anymore. Okay, the next thing I've realized, guys, is that when you're on semen retention, you get and you gain more inner peace. Yes, very much. You just feel more inner peace within yourself. You feel more fullness, more love, more essence, right, within yourself. You will start to notice that you need less and less things from the outer world to make yourself happy because you have all this prana, the spiritual energy, this life force rushing through your veins at some point. And it feels amazing. And you will start to discover your own gifts more. Things come up to the surface. You're able to express yourself a lot better. All right, last but not least, what I've noticed, and this is a crazy one for many men, and many men think it's the opposite, but it's not from my own experience. Seamer retention will make you last longer in bed. And actually, once you do it properly and you're able to breathe deeply, you can last as long as you want. You will start to gain full control over your own arousal, and you can actually start to use your mind on whether you want to bust or not. All right, guys, so last but not least, some common misconceptions about seamer retention that I want to discuss very quickly in this video. So number one is going to be, it's not a magic pill. Stop putting semen retention on a pedestal thinking when you're 30 days in, I'm finally going to be confident when I'm 60 days in, I'm finally going to have woman attraction. My advice is to do semen retention, do it the best you can, make it a lifestyle, be in full control of your own sexual energy, but forget about it. Make it a lifestyle and don't expect anything from it. That way you're actually able to reap the most benefits. And I've always had this approach to semen retention. And I think that's one of the byproducts. It was always so easy for me to do three months, six months, now one year as well, because I didn't really care about it. I just didn't put it on a pedestal. 
I didn't care what day I was on. I didn't think when I'm six months in, how am I going to feel? Am I finally going to be better than I am now? No, that mindset is destructive because that mindset comes from a place of insecurity and lack. There's no one way to do semen retention. Some men choose to say celibate. Other men choose to still have sex. You can still have sex on semen retention. And once you understand how to have sex without busting a nut, which is actually more enjoyable from my experience than doing it actually, because what you will notice is that your brain no longer seeks to go from A to B, but you can just enjoy the whole experience without trying to get somewhere. Doing that as well makes steam retention very much possible. All right, misconception number three, and this correlates to this one. I can't do steam retention because I have a girlfriend. Yes, you can. You absolutely can. Maybe you just don't want to do three month streaks, right? Just make it like two weeks, right? If you do two week streaks and you start to master once again how to have sex without busting a nut, you will actually reap a lot of benefits from doing two week semen retention cycles. I've done this for a very long period of time and you will still gain a lot of amazing benefits from semen retention. And the last misconception is, and this ties into number one, is that you're going to be a better person when you're one year in as when you're 30 days in. No, you're not. That's all an illusion. That's an illusion your ego tries to put on you. You know, if you try to wear your days as a batch of like, I'm 30 days in, I'm 60 days in, what's going to happen when you relapse your day one again, right? You put so much value and so much attachment to it, you will suffer greatly and you will again feel insecure. And as the Buddha said, the root of all suffering is your attachment to it. Your attachment to these days, you're wearing it as a batch, I'm 30 days in, I'm finally feeling good now, now I'm confident, right? What's going to happen when you're on day one again? You feel like shit. This is not sustainable, right? So you're too attached to the days. If you've been able to, let's say, do 30 days of semen retention and you're back at day one, it doesn't mean anything. You've still grown through that process. You're not the same person anymore that is at day one now as the person six months ago that was at day one. No, you're a completely different person by now. You've gone through a lot. You've learned a lot of new lessons, right? That's the progress you're making. It's not the days, guys. And once again, this is one of the main reasons I've been able to do this so easily. I never cared about the days. I never put any emphasis or any value on it. I would never wear it as a badge. Look at me, I'm 30 days in. No, I just didn't care okay i was like cool i'm 30 days in now whatever if i'd be at day one again i'd be like I, I didn't care bro and once again the reason i'm really hammering on this is because this mindset has allowed me to make this practice and lifestyle that has truly benefited me in so many ways and by the way guys if you're seeking more one-on-one -on -one accountability on your journey and you're looking for a community where you're kept accountable where you have a lot of resources videos worksheets templates and access to a like-minded group of men that are all looking to level up on their self-improvement journey. Think about semen retention, mastering your sexual energy, becoming more attractive to women, health, fitness, mental health. We talk about anything. We do weekly group calls and it's just an amazing place for men to come together and level up. So if you're interested, guys, you can check out the link in the description link down below. So guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.